we have been supporting, we have been supplying in the US for many years already. Now, and there are there are export, there are, there are what we call uh, taxes in multi multi jurisdiction. In Europe, there are some taxes as well in wherever we do. So the the ten percent itself, we don't see it as a problem for us because this this is business as usual. We will be able to uh, to to look into it as, as 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 a business for us where the impact will be very minimal. Definitely, if if there is a need to increase price in our in our ASP, we will we will definitely we will do that. Uh, however, there will be plans to decentralize as well. Potentially, there will be a facility uh, in the U.S. or in Americas, and that will most probably circumvent any tariff that will come in. Okay, that's it. If, if I can just add to that, we must remember that it is proposed uh, tariff increases and it is blanket across all markets outside of the U.S. So the only uh, advantage would be for those producing directly in the United States themselves. In terms of those that are very focused on price, we are extraordinarily competitive when it comes to the, Europe, uh, to the American market. So for, for us, the 10% isn't going to make a, a, an impact in terms of uh, the American market itself. Our biggest concern would have been if there had been a change in China and the policy with relations to the tra tariffs in China. But um, as we've seen, they're looking to increase the tariffs uh, from the China market. So it's really not going to affect us. Mm -hmm.